Hey everybody, Heather Lambert here, you Star Director, and today I am talking about those parties that you are getting back that are not quite the PRV you would like them to be. Um, if they are, I'm gonna try some light in here. If they are a little bit lower PRV than you'd like, your host isn't earning the stuff that she wants to earn, um, this can be a real problem because if your parties don't close where you want them to and your host isn't excited about all the free stuff, she's not gonna wanna join. She's not gonna want to make this her business if she's struggling to just host a party. Um, and your paycheck's gonna suffer, which means you've gotta do more work to make the same amount of money. So um, we want your um, paychecks to be bigger. We want your parties to close bigger so your host gets more free stuff and everybody is just more successful. So how do you do that? What's that problem? How can we fix it if your parties are lower? And the answer, my friends, is host coaching. That's right, host coaching. Um, so host coaching is something that I have struggled with in the past, full disclosure, come and clean. Um, and when I find that my parties are coming back with little to nothing, they're barely hitting the 200 if they do I've had a few um, in the past few months that did not even hit 200 and that is frustrating it's super super frustrating and I know it um, so I've been there I'm right there with you but the answer is always host coaching and I had a conversation with uh, one of my mastermind friends another Sensi um, star director and we talked about how we really need to up our host coaching game and you guys, that is the difference between your low PRV parties and your high successful PRV parties. Um, eight times out of 10, that's usually the problem. So we gotta talk about it, we gotta fix it, we gotta do better, we gotta do better. Um, so what is host coaching, what do you do? Cause that's always a struggle, right? How, what do I do to host my hostess? Um, what do I give her, what do I say? Especially if you're a new consultant, that can be, intimidating. So all I want to tell you is it's very, very simple. You have one job to host coach your, your hosts every single time, no matter what kind of party you have one job and that's to get your host excited. She needs to be excited. She needs to be so excited about her party. That is host coaching is getting your host excited in whatever way works for her or him, um, whoever your host is. And so I've had, um, like I said, a couple of lower closing parties, particularly basket parties lately. And I had to stop and think, is there something more that I could have done? What can I do different, better, right? To make these parties more magical. Um, you're going to hear that phrase from me a lot this year. So I had to take a look at what I was doing when I dropped off the baskets, when I um, met with my hosts, when I kicked off those parties, when I booked them, what was I doing to help that host get excited about her party? And the truth was, I was getting a little lazy, to be very honest, I was getting lazy. And this is our job, this is our profession. We are the professional, right? You are the CEO of your business, you're the expert, supposedly, and you have got to teach your host how to have a successful party. You gotta teach her why certain things are so important. You've gotta show her how cool it's gonna be when they get all their free stuff. So the last couple of hosts that I've had, I have tried to do a much, much better job of educating, informing, and getting them excited. So I have printed out the little um, host booklets with all the information that hosts could need. You could make your own. There's one on the Believers and Achievers group you can download for the season. Um, and it's just a couple of flip pages that talk about their host rewards, about the catalog, about what's in the catalog, how to utilize the catalog, how to talk to all the people, about all the inch, um, tax percentages and who to make checks out to, all that boring stuff. Like that's boring. You don't wanna to have to spend hours telling your hostess about that kind of stuff because it's boring, but you, they need to know it. So it's right there in a little booklet printed out for them. I can point it out, but I don't have to spend a lot of time talking about it. The cool part was that I could run through the catalog. I could find out what got my host excited. Um, so I just dropped a basket off this morning and what got her excited was some holiday stuff. She still had her Christmas things up um, and she has Christmas everywhere, loves the holidays. And so holiday warmers got her excited. 
the Scentsy Go, as she was flipping through, the Scentsy Go got her excited. And so now I know that and I can use that to our advantage, right? To get her excited, I'm gonna highlight those items, I'm gonna highlight those things. She's a super fanatic about essential oils and so I'm gonna showcase some diffuser stuff. I'm gonna be like, check this out. Um, you gotta find what gets your host excited and showcase those things so that they are super pumped to collect orders and to share with their friends. The other cool thing about January is the double half price item. So when I started telling her that if she got to a $500 party, she's gonna get $75 in free credit and six items half price. That's a lot of stuff. Um, and she didn't know that, but to say it that way, to say you're gonna get six things half price, she's like, whoa, I gotta get there. Yeah, you gotta get there. <laughs> You've gotta get to that level so you can get those free things. Um, the other thing I did, I had another host who is doing a home party. So I didn't meet with her yet because her party's still a month away, it's in February, but I did send her a video. And I posted that video on our group page so you can see what's included. And it basic, it doesn't say a whole lot. It basically is just, hey, I'm so excited that you're doing this, I can't wait. It's face to face, they get to see you and your energy and your excitement. So um, basically that's, that's all it is, is getting them excited. And she even said to me, your video got me excited, I can't wait, I'm so excited. Like, that's your job get your host excited about their party and they will do more for you. They will work harder for you if they are excited. Get them excited about their wish list. Find out what they want. What do they want for free? What are they working towards? Get them excited about that. If they are excited about something they're going to get for free, for half price, that they're gonna have, they're gonna work harder for you and they're gonna share with more people. And when they share, they're gonna be more excited instead of feeling obligated and just asking everybody what do they want to buy, they're gonna be like, oh my God, this is so great. I can't wait till you see it. You gotta sniff this, this is great. I really love this scent. I can't wait to look at this is what I'm getting. Um, they're gonna be more excited and that's gonna make their party more successful. So host coaching is not scary. It's not complicated. It doesn't have to be a big deal. It's just you getting your host excited, getting them the information they need to know, helping them make a wish list, and helping them get excited about it so that they will work harder for you and for them. Because the more that they do, as you know, the more they are gonna get for free and half price and the bigger your paycheck will be. Now, when you have bigger parties, it means you don't have to do as many to make the same amount of money, right? That's the key. It also means you're gonna get more contacts from that party. You're gonna have more order slips, more contact um, slips. So you have a network growing. So if she's excited, she's gonna share with more people and bring you more people for your customer base, right? So that then you can follow up and turn into more parties and more recruits and grow your business and grow your customer base. So that's another reason why it's so important for your um, hostess to be excited because she's gonna share your business more for you. She's gonna do the legwork for you. Um, and if she's not excited, then she's not gonna share or take the effort to reach out to extra people. So, super important. So host coaching, touch base with your, your people, spend the time, take a little bit more effort, take a little bit more time to sit down with your host, whether it be online, whether it be in person, whatever, make them a video so they can see and feel your excitement and you can get them the information that they need and help build them up, get them excited about their party um, so that they can have a successful closing and then you can both get what you want. So that is the key. If you are struggling with low PRV parties, take a look, ask yourself, what can I do different? What can I do better? Am I spending the time with my host to get them excited? And not just the first time. So I dropped that basket off today, but I'm gonna check in in a couple of days. You've gotta to touch base again, right? And if my hostess whose party is in February, I'm gonna to touch base again next week. Even if I don't talk to her, I'm just gonna shoot her a message to say, I'm so excited, I can't wait, it's only three weeks to go. That's it, keep them excited, right? So I'm gonna to touch in multiple times before we actually close or have the party um, to keep that excitement up. It's not a one-shot deal. You've gotta to touch base and, and build the relationship over time, right? So that's what host coaching does too, is if you check in multiple times, it's gonna build that relationship. So when you finally do close the party and you say, hey, 
do you want to join my team and do this? I'll give you the gift you the party. You can make some money. Um, they'll be more willing to think about it because you just have built a relationship over a period of a couple of weeks and they know what it's like to work with you and they see the end results, that it's positive and that they got what they wanted. And so hmm, maybe I'll work with you some more and get some more of what I want. Um, so that is key. Host coaching is so powerful and I think that we don't spend enough time or effort on it because we think it's some complicated like magical thing and we're afraid. We're afraid to talk to people. It's just what we are. Um, so don't be afraid. You're the expert. You're the professional. Teach them how to have an amazing party um, help them get excited and everybody wins. So I hope that helps. I hope that inspires you to think about how you are talking with your hosts and uh, what you can maybe do different. It doesn't take a lot, just a little bit more focus and intention in your communication um, will make all the difference in the world. So I would love to hear if you try something different, share with us on the group page, either under this video or just make a comment and let us know what you did different when you host coached your next hostess and how it turned out. So I can't wait to find out how this basket party and then the home party in February turns out. I've just started to do things a little different, a little more intentionally, a little more focused. Um, and I can't wait to see what the results will be. So I know that they're going to be better than they have been. So hope you guys are having a great weekend and that's all for now.